to explain if you're one of the people who, I don't know, maybe has somehow started what- Huzzah for Saint! Oh, Miss Fortune! Are you- Are you the hobo lady from, uh, Dark Crystal? I mean, it's my favorite movie, but I don't- I don't know what you're doing in this game. I guess it's similarly- a similar set of dark and- dark and happy and fantasy and everything's ending. Actually, Dark Crystal- I'm so proud of you, buddy. Congrats on dying in the completely non-dangerous world by just walking right off a fucking cliff. Good for him. How many- how many people did this? What did you do? Oh, you're fighting someone at least. Did you get invaded? I don't know if you can get invaded here. Maybe he just fought an NPC and they got angry. Chance? This actually- this game has a very similar tone to Dark Crystal. Anyway, to explain the healing items, in the in Dark Souls' previous game, you got Estes Flask, and they were replenished at every single bonfire. You got five, and you can- there's ways of making it so you'd have 10, 15, or even 20 of them, and you can make them stronger. Holy shit, praise the sun is still a text command. I am so okay with this. Hopefully there's some descendant of Solaire in this game. I think this game takes place way, way after the first Dark Souls. But anyway... So, uh, Dark Souls had SS Flask, but Demon Souls had healing items that were just normal healing items. Like, essentially the equivalent of potions, but they were, uh... But you had to pick them up everywhere. And this game, I guess, is gonna try to do both at the same time and strike a balance between the two. Which, I guess we'll see if it happens. I hope... Is this the king she wanted me to talk to? You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent. The smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. Well, uh... Is that all you want to say to me? I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything. And now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Okay, so I'm getting that he... Oh, what's it say? Wow. This game came out today. And there are already 500,000 deaths, almost? Impressive. That's, it's also creative to show us that right there. Don't give up. <laughs> that's, like a, that's more shared experience. We all share our total death count here. Chance? Oh, alright, I forgot about that. I was- I thought he might be the king character that they wanted me to talk to. Looks like he's just every- he's the, uh, the given character that's in every single game where he's like, the guy who's just given up and he's just gonna sit there at the camp, apparently. More souls and life gems. I am okay with this. It's interesting. That character always seems to be in the game. They usually just sit there in the corner and sulk until they eventually just sort of die, probably killed off by another character or because they finally- come up with a reason to do something, or they become hollow, finally, from their just total lack of motivation. This is a terrible universe to be in if you ever run out of motivation. Going hollow for the player is actually almost like a direct metaphor for just giving up at playing the game like many people do, and they never end up beating it. Who's this green man? Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. Oh, are you the blacksmith character? Maybe? Or are you... Or are you convincing me to steal? Are you tricking me to steal from people? Say toggle, read message. This place again? What do you mean by this place again? I can't say I recognize this location from a previous game. Oh, to clarify, by the way, I'm going in 100% blind, so if you expect me to know what I'm doing, then that's your own mistake. I assume I have to come back when I get some sort of key, unless this lets me kind of climb in the window. I'm a blacksmith. 
I'm nothing without my tools. Bring me that key. Chop, chop. That's cool, buddy, but I was trying to read the message. Try a hole. Can I jump in the hole? Is that what you're saying? Oh. Well, I can't run and jump, so... Yeah, no. I can't do that. <laughs> Moving forward. I don't even know what direction is forward. I guess I'll just keep p checking for items in the area. Because there seems to be a lot of them. And they're blocked off by debris that I can roll through because I'm so badass as a cleric, apparently. <laughs> I need a shield. So poor... How do I... Too many transparent items. Alright. Maybe I'll just pick a direction and start? I don't necessarily have a goal right now. My understanding is that this game is just one big hub world. More in the more like de uh, Demon Souls, really. Contraption does not move. What do we got done here? An item to taunt me to go further. These games love to use that as as a. Oh, oh! Look at this! Look at this gate that goes nowhere. And the window that points at the doorway. Like this is clearly a pathway, but it points at a window. This entire room rotates. That's got- that's what we're dealing with here. If I get like a sigil that looks like that, I assume, I can rotate the room and go through that other door. But then- but then that gate will lock the door I came through, probably. I think that's how the room was laid out. Don't see anyone here. Nope. I love Dark Souls because of how much it felt like Castlevania, where you have this big interlocking environment, where you're constantly finding, uh, new shortcuts that go back to where you were before, and so... The more you explore the castle, the smaller it became, and that always felt really cool to me. And I, from what I'm looking at so far, it looks like Crimson Parma. I don't even have a slight idea of what that might mean. I should probably look at what it is, but instead I'll just move forward a little bit. Lever required ahead. A lever must be required. Ooh, was this? What do you? What does this do? By draining water. Or I, maybe I'm not- oh, maybe I'm not draining water, maybe I'm just opening up a path for me to walk through. But also for enemies to come through. Spooky. But I, I love the way that had, if you explored Dark Souls, the environment basically got smaller. And I think that might be what we're dealing with here. Is a bunch of pathways you can take, and then as you go through them, everything sort of becomes more interlocked. And you can explore or revisit areas more easily. Broken Thief Sword and Soul of the Lost Undead. They give me a lot of points with which to try leveling up. Which way should I go? Downstairs or upstairs? Let's go downstairs. It's easier to remember that I checked it. Maybe it's just me, but it's easier for me to remember when I've gone downstairs areas than remembering if I've gone up staircases. Unfortunately, here I am at a staircase. I just Tower of the Flame. Well, this is a whole new zone. I guess I'll have to remember to check that staircase later. Oh, what is that? That's a bad guy. Am I, gonna, I think I'm gonna have to fight that dude. This might be- this might be my first very abrupt death, guys. Huh. Oh god, third strike. I thought he was gonna stop at two. That was my mistake. I deserved that, I guess. There we go. Now that I know that he has three strikes, I can intentionally wait for the last one. Ow. Okay, let's do that Estus Flask right now. So I'm not doing so great. Oh, interesting. Estus Flasks are not instantaneous healing items. There we go. Uh, I'm realizing my the, the trouble with my, with my strategy. Am I two-handing this? Oh, I was not two-handing it. My mistake. Uh, let's go in after that last strike. Oh, there we go. Two-handing it is way more powerful. I didn't realize I wasn't holding it correctly at first. Okay. So I realized that if I could wait for the t first two strikes to happen, lesser foe ahead. What, did they get weaker? That guy looks almost like he might be stronger. No items, just... just awkward. Oh. Oh, those are swords. Okay. I thought I thought a, a kilt was hanging all the way down. They're like bird people? I'm growing concerned that this might be... A more aimless playthrough than my Demon Souls and Dark Souls Plus plays. Ow! He attacked way later than I thought he was going to. <laughs> Problem. Uh. 
I need to use a life gen. Okay. Quick while he's not finding me. There we go. Need to get ready to just slowly regenerate so I don't die instantly when he fucks me up. Okay. I need to plan this whole thing better because... His attack comes way later than I expect it to, which makes it harder to dodge. Okay, I might... I might die here. There's a good chance I'm about to die. <laughs> oh, he's angry, isn't he? Life gem! No! No! Oh, there it goes. And so the deaths begin. <laughs> the true Dark Souls experience begins here. This is... <laughs> the trophy's just called This is Dark Souls. Nice. Proud of you guys. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. Oh man. As a hollow, I immediately became much more spooky looking. Let's check to see if any of those items I picked up are actually usable. Because I would certainly like to have a little bit of equipment. They certainly made it more complicated to look through this stuff. Broken Thief Sword, that's a disappointment I'm not going to bother with right now. So that Amber Herb restores spell usage. Oh, awesome, you can use stacks. You can use entire stacks of uh, souls now instead of casting them one at a time. I'm gonna see if those pickups I got are enough to level up at least once. Oh, my item still, my inventory still open. Okay, so you can't level up at bonfires. I assume that she lets you level up. Level up though. It requires about 1,000 souls and I have 1,200 so I can do this once. I think I might go, I'm tempted to go for vitality. Let's see. Let's look at these stats actually. So, vigor I assume that means. Increases your hit points and your petrify resistance. Endurance increases hit point. Oh. They're both they're not going to increase my hit points. They're just going to they affect hit points, but it goes from 914 to 914. Interesting. Oh, never mind. I have to press over. So vigor increases my hit points by 30. Endurance increases my hit points by two. Very big difference there. But endurance also affects your stamina, your physical defense. And your poise. Most importantly, here's a big difference here, guys. Does not affect your equipment load, which is how it always worked before. But now vitality does that. So vitality increases your equipment load by 1.5, increases your physical defense by 2. Supposedly will eventually increase your poison resist resistance ac according to that value. Slight increase in defense and increases your hit points. Attunement increases. Hit points, casting slots, casting speed, curse resistance, agility. Interesting. Strength increases hit points, uh, strength attack, and physical defense. Dexterity increases hit points, poison and bleed bonus, physical de- Okay, so your ability to, to do melee style status alignments and a bit of- Everything seems to increase your hit points a little bit as you level, basically. Yeah, okay. Yes, every single every single skill increases your hit points, but obviously this is your hit, hit point stat if you want to increase it by a meaningful amount. But at least it won't be completely stagnant if you put points in other things. Adaptability is basically increases your poise, agility, and your resistance to status alignments. The idea here is that it makes it it makes your character faster. It speeds up your animations. It's you're you're more reactive. Intelligence, magic defense, dark defense. Makes your uh, casting weapon more effective. Bonuses of various elements, so that's that helps you with uh, casting. And faith is helps you with lightning and bleed. This will, this should help me with me me being a cleric. I might start off by just giving myself a, a few hit points right off the bat. I'm loving all of these things that just show people dying in the open in stupid ways. Let's grab some of these souls and dodge. Okay. 
see if I can be smarter about this this time. Oh, nope, already missing. Missed my entire attack. Oh shit, he's doing another attack, but it totally missed. I like the part where he misses. Huh. Keep away. There we go. Because he's looking good right now, and he's down. That went way smoother. Remembering to dual wield my we uh not dual wield, uh the two hand my weapon definitely helped. Could so use a shield though. I'm not used to not being able to block attacks. Ow! Okay. Ow. Ah. Okay. That went okay. I need to use this SS flask though, because he definitely hit me bad. I have not at all, apparently, figured out the timing of dodging this guy's attacks. There we go. Quick, before he turns around. Oh, missed. Back off a bit. He has one hell of a long-range attack. There we go. If I circle him fast enough, I can mostly get out of the way. Okay. <laughs> okay, this guy's stressing me out. What is this charge attack? Chill out, dude. I don't need you charging at me. And he's down. Okay. Progress is happening. See? Dark Souls? That's the whole point of the soul system, is that it encourages you encourages you to always press yourself to make forward progress. Because you never actually lose souls from dying as long as you don't die again without making progress. Or at least getting to where you died. And that's what I like about it, is that it pushes you it makes sure that you are trying to actually do progressively better. It's a system that actively encourages self-improvement, and if you succeed in doing so, then it rewards you by letting you level up a lot. But even if you fuck up, that's why there's like Soul of the Nameless Soldier and stuff like that, which is that, the whole point of that is that they give you uh, experience items that are persistent, so that even if you are dying a lot and losing all your souls, you still get to keep souls. And that's one of the things that people sort of gloss over when they talk about the fact that you lose everything when you die. It's the fact that you totally don't. Do you guys think that Lloyd's uh, talismans do exactly what they did before? Because previously... Did this just show up? That was not there a second ago. My understanding before was that Lloyd's talismans was going to move. Oh, platform just coming out of the ground. That's cool. What's going on over there? Is that it? Okay, nothing else to watch. Oh my dear lord, there's so many bloodstains. Are you guys just walking off cliffs? Well, actually, understandably, you probably died against that guy. I can't judge, I died against his cousin a second ago. But some of you are probably just walking off cliffs. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Trio ahead, try luring it out. Try luring it out. Wait, was that not ca- Interesting. You must be able to, like, take a bunch of phrases together and piece them. Where's the... Trio. Okay, there's all three of them. Interesting. I didn't realize this was going to be the first area of the game. Oh my god, they aggro together. Things are escalating in the... Maybe the worst way. Oh, okay, the other guys aren't coming. Roll! Oh my god. That went, po that went horribly for me. I have to be careful here. I'm going to walk right off this fucking cliff while I try to backtrack. I think they specifically designed this platform that way. So that if you are just walking backwards against it away from an enemy, you will just die because you're not watching your step. Because this game's all about watching your step. Oh my god. No! Go down. Go down. Go down. There we go. These guys are stressing me out. They're just hitting me with the large guys right off the bat. Oh. Oh. Did killing that guy make them aggro on me? Were they waiting politely? Like the moment I left the room, they were just gonna wait for me to fight that guy alone? Oh man, two of these guys at once is gonna be tough. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see if I can lure them back a little bit more. It's fucking scr scarf a life gem, I don't give a shit. <laughs> why, wait, why am I scarfing life gems? I could totally be using my uh... Take him out. There we go. One's down. This is now a normal encounter. <coughs> I apologize. <laughs> oh. I just realized I was... I mean, he's got my... Oh, my life? Oh, God. Let me roll. I, nope. Nope. I'm not being careful enough about my stamina. If I ever attack twice, it better be a killing blow, because otherwise I will not be able to 
Get the hell out of the way. Oh, there I go doing it again. Why am I using up all my life gems? I picked the cleric for a reason. The only time I've used a healing spell so far was on accident. I'm terrible at being a cleric, apparently. The whole point of that is I should be able to conserve healing items by using my spell, which replenishes itself. What are all these guys doing dying? They're eh, they're probably just, they probably just fought everyone. I don't I don't think I need to watch. Some of them probably walked off cliffs, which is also funny, but <laughs> I'm sure a fair amount of them were just overwhelmed by the three enemies because they didn't try backing off. Nothing's going to jump down at me? It's a lot of bloodstains here. What did you guys do? Did you lure that guy all the way up here and die? He looks like he's just the same two-handed club guy again. Let's try to get this item first. Oh, can I just walk across? Yep, yes I can. Are Mimics back? I don't think so. Yeah, they'll probably be back, but I'd be surprised if they would hit you with something that mean this early in the game. Green Blossom. Oh, look. Did it break? Maybe not. It just looked different. Yeah, it just looked different from this side. I thought the platform broke for a second there. This looks like I can block a little bit with my when I'm two-handing. It's not great. What? Just do one swing at a time. That's what I need to commit to. Just one swing, then wait for the roll. Actually, that time I could have totally- Oh, shit. Fuck you! Oh my god, that was super close. Here, let's do a... healing cast. Does holding it down make me keep cast- What am I doing right now? I'm holding the button down. Is it- Does this power it up at all? I don't know. I guess I'll just do it. Okay. Not the most effective heal I've ever had, but it'll do, I guess. There we go. Need to, so when, I'm do, when I do two-hand my weapon, I can block, but he can't block when it's one-handing. I think that was probably always a mechanic, but I've never, really, I've never ever been in a situation where I had a, a one-handed weapon and no shield, so I've never had a chance to experiment with it. Well, you know. Oh my god. Let's do a life gem immediately. I'm, I'm gonna want to heal. Ah. Hey, buddy. Are you friendly? You're not friendly. <laughs> uh, no. This looks like a pretty straightforward fight. No, don't do a second swing. Why did I... Oh, I staggered him. Cool. Still, though, that second swing was a terrible idea. He could have hit me, and who knows how much damage he would do. So far, super straightforward fight, though. Come on, Dragon Rider. Come at me, bro. I gotta say, it's gotta be the least enemies between you and a boss so far in this game. Actually, maybe not. If this guy's the stand-in for the super easy Undead Asylum boss that's just there to teach players what, whether or not they're playing the game wrong, then I guess this is relatively straightforward. You just fight a few hollows that don't even really fight back, and then you take him on. They actually escalated things more in this case. Although, who knows if, you, if this really is the first boss. Maybe you could fight other people first? It looked like there might be a number of paths I could have taken at the beginning. Oh, fucker. Definitely nailed me there. Ah... Heal. Roll! Terrible plan on my part. Okay. Ah. Okay. Yep. Miracles during combat, not very viable. Learning th We're learning this thing right now. Let's do a life gem. I just want to get some sort of regen in place, because I think I can... I'm sure I can last a little bit more without getting hit, but... Don't want to... I don't want to sit, just chill out with low health the whole fight. Ah, there we go. Ah, stressing me out, dude. Jesus Christ, you're certainly more aggressive than the undead asylum demon. The, uh, what was it called? Probably just called the asylum demon, I guess. Well, a dragon rider soul. I assume those still are used to upgrade weapons. 15, oh my god, I'm at 15,000 souls. That's an astonishingly large number for so early in the game, from what I can remember, but I could just be misremembering everything like I always do. Because, you know, mem what's memory for anyway? It's overrated. What the fuck is that? Let's bonfire before I find out what that is. Because it looks spooky. Alright, so what are you? Are you friendly? You might be- f you're probably friendly, i probably just talk to you. Hey lady. Are you from these parts? My name is Lysia. I have come to spread the art of miracles, a practice of which I am a disciple. 
I can see that you are well suited to comprehend their wondrous power. But the cost of it, that's for your heart to decide. Oh, awesome. I immediately found the miracle vendor. A little overwhelmed and lost right now, but I'm sure that this will be... I'm sure this playthrough will become a little more competent in a few episodes when I get a better feel of how different this game is. I'd heard awful rumors about this place, and I'm afraid they were all true. The king, gone. The earth, ravaged. The burden on the people weighs heavy. I fear that, by now, they may have scarce room in their hearts for miracles. May the power of miracles be with you. Offer your souls to the gods. You will lose everything.